Hi everyone, Jeff Cote here with Boating Tech Talk and we have another installment of unboxing and today we're going to be talking about Maritron's digital switching. So this concept of digital switching is the ability to turn a circuit on or off from a faraway place without having all the amperage going to that faraway place. So in our boats, most of us, when we're turning a circuit on or off, we're actually stopping the current from going or depowering or powering the device. And the current is actually going through that switch. So for instance, on my own boat, you know, I have a DC AC panel and all of those circuit breakers and switches are effectively stopping uh, the current or disconnecting the voltage from the battery to the load. But that breaker or switch is actually seeing all the current going through. This concept of digital switching is there to lighten boats and give more, I guess, flexibility, right? So that you can have the shortest run from the battery to a load and have the switching of that load happening somewhere else. Uh, so Maritron, uh, a big player in the industry, has come out with a digital switching solution. And today what we're going to be doing is an unboxing of this DC load module. Pretty neat. Um, we've worked with digital switching for probably, I would say, eight years now uh, from different vendors. Uh, but like I said, Maritron is a big player in the marine world um, and are at the forefront of NMEA 2000 and the digitization of boats, right? So all about conversion of signals, analog signals to digital or simply digital from the start all the way to the end. So that integration, that play, uh, having multiple systems talk one to another is part of Maritron's sort of offering, and now they're doing digital switching. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna look at is this DC load module. And I'm gonna be opening that up, um, nice and gentle. Um, this is a 12 uh, circuit uh, DC load module. So that means that you can actually have 12 programmable breakers. It's got maximum 75 amps. Um, you can do obviously eight to 32 volts. So basically without issue, you're gonna be able to do uh, 12 and 24 volt systems, uh, 12 programmable breakers and seven different inputs, okay? This is the module that is able to be controlled remotely. And we're gonna be doing another unboxing and you can see it in another product, but here it is and we'll have a link below. Uh, but this is actually the switch module that is actually also, uh, and you need the two. So check out the video for this. And then lastly, this product over here uh, can be installed as a bypass. So if these are critical loads that you, all, you always want to sort of a backup, and you're not trusting that the digital switching will work, and if something fails, you want to be able to turn that back, like it could be a bilge pump, for example. It could be even a windshield wiper. It could be your nav lights. It could be a water pump. Something critical that you can't live without then you might be thinking about doing a bypass. And so the bypass module is another product opening that we're gonna have on our website. So make sure you check that out. And so the three products work well together. So again, first what we're talking about right now is we're talking about this DC loan module. Okay, excellent. So we're gonna open that up. Uh, also, by the way, this is ignition proof, which is great. Uh, also gives low dumping and also is reverse polarity protected. What's reverse polarity, in case you wonder? Reverse polarity is when people like ourselves here make mistakes and we screw up and we swap the polarity. So meaning we put a negative on a positive and a, neg and a positive on a negative. So we literally inverse the colors, right? So on AC circuits, um, that would be the neutral is the hot and the hot is the neutral. So Reverse polarity is an issue. Some, definitely some appliances, if you put a negative on a positive and a positive, especially on the negative, uh, you're gonna be in trouble. And so having a module that prevents sort of reverse polarity helps us humans uh, because we make mistakes even though we try not to, okay? So first comes out with the manual, which is nice. Always gotta read the manual and they make it easier now. They're doing it, I think for a lot of us, they're saying, by the way, this is the small version of the manual called the quick start guide, right? So you're not too intimidated. So there's that, good packaging. I'm gonna take this out slowly and I wanna show you how uh, relatively small uh, this module is. So the concept here is that you could have these modules 
located throughout the boat, right? And then you can control those modules over NMEA 2000, which is nice. So here you go. This is the module. So, you know, you could have, I could see a 40 foot boat having multiple of these modules, three, four, five of these modules be in different parts of the boat. Maybe one of them is in the forward section of the boat where all the berths are. Another one might be in the salon, another one in the flybridge, another one down in the engine room, maybe another one in the end aft lazarette. And so what you're doing is you're avoiding the need, and this is the key point here about distributed switching, you're avoiding the need to have everything come back to your panel. Right? And the builders like this because it allows us to save weight. Right, So this is why it's called distributed switching, meaning the switching can happen in multiple places on your boat. Um, you've got different sort of uh, connection points here. If you can see them right here, all the pins. And I'll take the next cable out, which is going to hopefully remove a little bit of your intimidation here. They have these Deutsch connectors, um, which are really good connection points. And you can see they even have these pigtails. So the pigtails could then in turn be terminated on a terminal strip, which I'm a big fan of uh, because it allows for good connection. Some of you might be tempted to do a butt connectors. I personally try to avoid doing butt connectors as much as possible. Not to say you don't want to, but it, avoid, it limits the ability for you to inspect a circuit when it's energized. So I'm a big fan of terminal strips. A lot of boat builders are fans of uh, terminal strips as well. It's maybe uh, you feel like it's two connections because you'll need a ring connector on either side, but it's, man, oh man, does it make your life easy when you've got troubles. So if they've got two of these pigtails with uh, these Deutsch connectors, obviously a little warranty card and uh, a USB with some uh, information uh, and programming on it. So notice, um, Again, important, you've got basically seven programmable channels. So this is where the connection points are happening here and here. And so you're gonna be able to, and as an example, you could have this um, in the V-berth area of your boat and you could be turning off the head, uh, maybe fans, light circuits. Um, there could be uh, maybe a water pump to run a water pump to power the sink. Uh, you could have different, again, I don't know, bilge pump, all of those are possible, and instead of the circuit going all the way back to your DC panel, now those circuits are simply terminated at this module. So this is a big, big win, okay? Big win for saving uh, wires um, on boats. All right, let me see, make sure I've got all my notes covered here because I came prepared this morning. Um, yeah. There's basically, you can handle a maximum of 10 amp circuits and uh, four of those circuits are five amps at, at, at all, as well. So that brings you to a total of 12 circuits, six of them at 10 amps, four of them at five amps, which is pretty cool. And some of these circuits can be parallel to allow for maximum amp, more amperage to go through a circuit. This important thing in some of us, and this is normal by the way, some of us go, ooh, distributed switching, sounds complicated. What happens if this doesn't work? Well, this is where this bypass module, and we're, we have a box opening for that as well. Make sure you check it out. We'll explain sort of the what happens when something doesn't go well. So this is the fail safe right here. So make sure if you're interested in a fail safe or a backup, check this box opening. That's about it actually with this device. You can actually, maybe I wanna, here's where actually the positive so in case you're wondering, you would actually have a relatively large cable feed this post over here. This post would receive at least the ability to give you 75 amps uh, because this potentially can provide 75 amps. So you're going to want a DC cable positive. And remember, there's no negative here, right? So the negative is going to every single circuit, right? This is actually where within North America, most builders, I'd say probably the large majority, only switch on the positive side. So you'd have a large cable coming here and then effectively through the NMEA 2000 port, which is right here, you'd be connecting the switch module. And so then you'd be able to control which of these circuits can be energized. And the control of sending current or voltage from here to these ports is done via NMEA 2000. And we're gonna be talking about that in the next module. So if you've got further questions or share us about how you've installed this product on your boat, please post down below and uh, let us know how it went for you. All right.
Thanks for watching. Also, if you found this video interesting, please subscribe. Um, it honestly it does it does help us to know that all this time that we're investing is actually we're reaching a lot of voters. And I want to thank all of you for watching. Thanks for spending some time with me.